Hello and welcome. I do indeed welcome you today. This is going to be quite a strange video review for you. It is of a KR case. Well, it's an accessory case that KR make. If you don't know who they are, uh, they're a UK based company who make these kind of cases and the, the cardboard cases for all of your, your, your miniature miniatures. It could be any kind of miniature game I suppose. Obviously I would think that they're, I've just guessed that their main sellers are, are for Warhammer and, and their Games Workshop products and things. But uh, this is different because it's not a figure case, it's an accessory case. And ever since I saw one, I saw people use them, I thought what an amazing idea. Especially for someone like me, if you're like me and you spent ages on your, your gaming board and and you don't like rolling dice on a gaming board, messing up the paint, having to redo the paint, or, or dice roll being cocked, hitting your models, hitting scenery, falling off the table. When I was a little child, I, you know that I was forever find, trying to find uh, dice that had rolled off tables and things when I when I was part of a club. But uh, that's why one of these really appealed to me, and I, I thought. I really would have loved one of these when I was a little kid, but as it stands, I have one now, finally, and I'm going to do this little review for you. So you can buy these. I think there's two variations. There's one which is this this whole uh, kind of silver aluminium look to it. It's a little bit like a gun case maybe, or an, or an attaché case, or however you want to call that. It's got the KR symbol on there. It does c come with this little. Uh, transparent sticker that you can put a name badge in or a piece of card to to tell everyone that this is yours well at least half of this is yours and um, because it does detach I'll show you that in a second so the sil there's a sil silver version and then there's a version where all of this this front and the reverse is black it's kind of like a matte black but the the, the, the edges are silver anyway you notice this clip here there are four four clips around it, so we'll open these up, and inside, put them on there, kind of vertically. Inside, you have this nice textured, well, not textured, but uh, clothed material inside. It is stuck down and then it's stitched in the corner um, but it, it runs the whole length of both of these compartments and you have, well, in this accessory case at the moment I have a, a tape measure and I think there's 30 dice there. Now with this, to buy one of these separately without the dice and the tape measure is about £11 and then you may have to pay a little bit extra for, for the shipping. If you want it with the dice and the tape measure, it's £16.50. I think that's quite useful. I mean, if you've got plenty of tape measures around and plenty of dice, I had a lot of dice anyway, but I just wanted to some blue dice. Never had any blue dice. So I got it with the with the di with the dice as well. I'm sorry, I I'm, don't mean to be like grammatically incorrect by saying die and dice. I'm just going to call them dice, all right? Uh, you know, we'll get that out of the way first and foremost. But it's a useful idea because... You know, so you go around to someone's and they haven't got the dice, or you want to use the these these dice, uh, or or they have or they've only got one tape measure, or they've only got those whippy sticks. Then you can take this with you, and the whole idea is you you put one of these on your board, and when you need to roll the dice, you will just roll them into one of these. You can give one to your partner, and you can have one. And there you go. Not you. You won't normally get cocked dice. They will very rarely come out of here. They, I played a game recently, and they they didn't pop out of, of this case at all. Not even once. And they're just. I'm not sure about the rolling area. I think the rolling area is sufficient. Uh, maybe if you've got if you play orcs or tyrannids or something, and, and you've got a lot of or even imperial guard, you've got a lot of dice. 
it might not be for you because sometimes you may need 20 or 30 dice but there's no real problem rolling 10 at a time and these can can handle that but I just thought it's a really neat idea in that you put one of these on the board and or your partner does and you don't need to roll on your table where your dice will hit scenery they will hit models they will fall off they will bounce and just generally damage things so I thought it's a really neat idea and in terms of space, I, I have actually managed to fit tape measure, all the dice, uh, a 40k small rule book actually fits in here, and all of those templates, the small blast template, the flamer template, and the large ordnance blast template, all of those things will fit in one of these. It's a little bit of a squeeze, but I managed it. I mean, what else would you need? I mean, scatter dice are roughly the same size as this, so you could substitute a couple of them for a couple of scatter dice or one scatter dice uh, you know there's nothing more that you need other than like a quick reference sheet maybe but you've got all of those things in the the rule book anyway I mean honestly you'd, you'd really you just need this your codex and your army surely so that's why I think one of these is a really good idea because it keeps all your, all of your other things. You can also, you know, keep pens in here, little pieces of paper, you know, what whatever. But I just thought it's a really neat idea. So not really much more to say about this. Uh, if you if you don't like your dice going all over the place or bouncing off tables and things or you just want a, a case that can hold your a little rule book and tape measure and things for for games this is probably for you um, but anyway you it depends on the um, how useful you would you would view this and of course your mileage may vary on that thank you very much for watching if you have liked this video if you have enjoyed it Please don't forget to comment, rate and subscribe. Just leave a co little comment below if you have one of these yourself or you're thinking about picking one up. And uh, just say why it's so great as well. Anyway, thanks again. Take care.